Oh, is everyone back on? Is everyone back on? The yeah. number of people I had in the first one. Let me just do a quick call to the uh, group. Okay, there's actually two groups. Um, guys, are, are, are you guys back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as I explained to you guys, um, just before the session cut off, sorry about that, we were speaking about the tips, so entry tips, so this has to do with entry, specifically entry, if price breaks a whole numbered key level, in the big time frame, and then stops with small candles then start shooting out with either bullish bullish or bearish engulfing find ng okay everyone write this down guys yes does everyone fully understand it Okay, I'm going to delete this uh, since well, everyone said they wrote it down. I'll just screenshot it for those of you guys who want it in the group. So, for example, going back onto a trade that actually looks like this. So, let's say, for example, price was moving in a downtrend in this case. Let's say we purely focused on here. Price is giving us lower highs and lower lows. Um... First thing to do, let's say maybe prices around this key area. First thing to do is identify the possible key areas that price can go to. So I'm going to check in this case, where is the price? I always do that. Check where is the price. If the price is around 119,286, I'll identify 120 as my key level. Remember that the digits in 10 and 5 are the main key levels when it comes to the market.
<laughs> and identify 17500 to be my possible next key level if we, we continue moving to the downside. And then obviously last time price stop is over here so I'm not going to ignore that. And then there's a key level here which is the previous uh, low. The trend is moving in what trend? Downtrend. Downtrend. We had a bounce off here. And another bounce off that key area. So I'm possibly expecting the market to go up, retest this, and then start going to the downside, maybe. So, so when the market drops, I'm not going to ignore this key level if it, if it does drop. I'm not saying you should tell the market what to do because it can do what it wants to do. So in this case, if the market drops, I will take half of my profits if I decide to enter here. I'll take half of my profits here and I'll take my full profit on 17500 because the market will not just turn around anyway if it's not a key level that I'm expecting. Um, like the, 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 the whole number key levels that we actually did. So in this case, let's see what price does. Price goes back up. Remember, I told you guys, price can do what it wants to do. Price went straight to 120. It went past this level. So it went to retest the recent level we had. Now I'm waiting for the market to either give me a bullish or bearish engulfing in the smaller time frame. So I can enter with this out. And I'm going to take half profit. Over there, and then full profit there. Price start playing around in that key area. Obviously, in the smaller time frame, there's probably a bullish or bearish engulfing that I got as the market was consolidating. Around there, market start dropping. I take partial profit. Market drops. I take full profit. Do you guys understand? Now the trend became wider. This trend line does not matter. I have to look at the bigger trend. So price bounced up here. If price breaks 175, we're probably go, gonna stop at 115. But we might be going down and stopping and stopping all along the way. If price wants to go back up, it will go back up. Price can do what it wants to do. Price continues to drop. For those who are able to take a sell, we'll probably target the next key levels like 116, 116.5, just like that. Price drops. It goes back above 117.5. That is the first sign that it might want to give us bullish momentum so now that price actually went up that means this downtrend is no more valid right guys yeah. so i'm expecting price to come back retest or give me small candles in smaller time frame come back retest retest and then so i can buy it and then i can easily just do that take a chain line and with the new chain that's actually popping up so i move with the market can you guys see my chain line is constantly moving with me it doesn't stay behind do you guys understand yeah. so now it's, price is purely moving in an up chain if it breaks here i'm waiting for it to stop 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 give me bullish momentum i'm buying to the next key level which is the, the level we might be approaching maybe 122 500 over there as the market goes it keeps on breaking keeps on giving me new uptrends the market is respecting that uptrend i'm buying it all the way up price market breaks the trend line but does not take this low out so that means we might maybe adjust it if the trend is going to continue and look what the market does it adjusted to that so do you guys understand yeah mm. Now, you guys obviously can't expect to do things the way I do it because I'm a little bit more advanced than you guys. But I'm just trying to give you guys a way for you guys 